guys, we're back on Hump Day Wednesdays, uh, getting over your fat loss humps and asking the questions that you've been asking us for quite a while now. So one of the ones is, what exercises burn more fat? Kayla says P-H-A-T, most of you call it, spell it F-A-T. So first things first, get off the machines and start doing more compound movements. So things like Olympic lifts, plyos, sprinting, so things that require more muscle recruitment. So less of the sticking on a machine, doing one leg motion, so, so full body exercises. So, I mean, it's rare I'll do any type of conditioning throughout my season, and I actually get the leanest possible just from doing the simple lift. So do you have to run and do a lot of cardio? Just be careful that, you know, we say cardio, if you train properly and do the type of lifting that we do here, it does challenge you cardiovascularly. So like Leo was saying, she's a pure power lifter, maybe not the, 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 the perfect example of what power lifting is because we do blend in so many other things, but power lifters don't usually go for runs and she gets a leanest in season. So also remember that just with diet, um, fat loss, burning fat is a lifestyle change, right? So if, if it took you running 10K every day for three months to lose weight, are you gonna be able to continue doing that for the next six months, a year, when it's midwinter, are you gonna be running 10, 10K? So let's address first the nutrition, or like we talked about in previous um, videos that we've been doing, sleep, then optimize your nutrition, and then at that point, if they require some natural supplements, then let's add that on. But it's a lifestyle change. Uh, do what you could repeatedly do, like we say, obviously, in uh, strength and conditioning. Thanks, guys.